Now, though, it's time for our first award. To present it, I am so honored to welcome one of the great actors of our generation or any other. He's a two-time Tony winner, a two-time Emmy winner, and an Academy Award winner. Please join me in welcoming to the Game Awards, Al Pacino. It's really good to see you here. Uh, this is uh, an experience for me. <laughs> uh, what I didn't expect, but here I am, as usual, doing my surprising thing to myself. But uh, anyway, uh, I, I, I may come as, a, it may come as a shock to you. But uh, I, 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 I'm, it's hard for me to see the teleprompter. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but uh, in, the, in truth, I don't play a whole a lot of video games. <laughs> but I do have, however, spent a lot of time watching my kids play them. Yeah. And I've continued to be thoroughly impressed and uh, um, entertained by the uh, unique and immersive ways video games tell their stories. And especially, especially naturally, by the performers who help tell these stories. Uh, because as an actor, I've learned that whether you're on a stage or in front of a camera or inside an audio booth, always, fundamentally, always, we're the same. Uh, we, we are all trying to tell a story in our way. Uh, with our kind of truth. And I am honored to be here tonight to celebrate the achievements of these incredibly talented actors who, by breathing life into these stories, have helped elevate the medium of video games to a new height. And now, the nominees for the best performance of the year are... Best performance. Best performance. I'm working out now. You're, this is heavy. <laughs> Finally, I didn't work out today, so I'm doing... You don't mind, do you, if I do a little each? <laughs> the best performance... Winner, Christopher Judge for God of War Ragnarok. Thank you to the Game Awards. Um, first of all, uh, I have to thank my mama. Um, everyone at every level, be it designer, be it whatever it was who worked, there's a, there's a time frame that cinematics have to fit into. Hopefully not speeches. Um, <laughs> and I, I, I couldn't reel it in. 
And Eric came over to me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to the rest of the nominees. Have a great night. And I met Al Pacino. <laughs> Right now, to present our next award from the new film Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, premiering December 23rd on Netflix, please welcome Jessica Hennick. I don't want to alarm anyone, but someone in this room is a murderer. Just kidding, we're just joking around. But also, statistically speaking, someone in this theater probably is a murderer. I'm sorry. Let's not think about that. Anyway, I don't want to spoil our film, but I can tell you that there is a very popular video game featured in it. And now, to give you some more clues, please welcome writer-director Ryan Johnson and the star of Glass Onion, Daniel Craig. Thank you, Jessica Hedgewick. And hello, <laughs> Game Awards. Uh, we are so excited for you to see our new film. Uh, we have a special scene in it for fans of a certain game, so we wanted to bring a little something to that game. That's you. That's Ben Wabalak. Look at look at him. This is adorable. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice good. scarf. I like the cravat. It's yeah, very, very nice, yeah. yeah. And now, here are the nominees. <laughs> and the Game Award for Best Debut Indie goes to... Stray. Families, partners, companions, dogs, cats, obviously, very important. Congratulations, Stray. The hero of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, Cameron Monaghan. It's an incredible honor to wield this lightsaber again. And I think I can speak for everybody at Respawn, EA, and Lucasfilm when I say how incredibly excited we are to show our work on Jedi Survivor. I had the chance to play the game recently, and I can honestly say that this is one of the best Star Wars games of all time. And that's saying something. Yeah, I have no doubt that you'll feel the same way when you play it too. And I just gotta say that I am so incredibly lucky to be a part of this incredible project and it's really something extraordinary. So, we'll see you all in a galaxy far, far away, March 17th. And until then, may the force be with you. Mr. Hideo Kojima. Great to see you. Uh, well, Mr. Kojima, it's been three years you're on this stage with us in 2019, where you won Best Game Direction. Uh, DS2 has been announced. Uh, what can you tell us? How is it going to be different than DS1? えっと、I can't really be specific right now, but you just seen the trailer and I put a lot of things inside, so I want you guys to talk about it and find details in it. <laughs> Good luck. All right. Uh, well, I know we have some of uh, the cast from the game with us here. Uh, hello, Leia, Shieli. Great to have you guys with us here. Um, Troy is here as well. We heard him there. Hello, Troy. Um, we're so excited about this collaboration you have with uh, an amazing cast. Uh, I wanted to ask you the story of this game. 
how has the pandemic and what we've been through, how has that impacted your storytelling and the theme of this game? Well, I had the story written before the pandemic, but after experiment, experiencing the pandemic, I just rewrote the whole thing, uh, the story from scratch. I also didn't want to predict any more future, so I rewrote it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Kojima, it's always such a pleasure having you here. I wanted to ask, generally, what's next for you as a creator? I know we have our fun podcast we do. What else have you got planned? <laughs> okay. I'm in DS2, I'm in DS2, but I'm in DS2, and 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 i so, well, you're always uh, very prolific, and we love you for it. Hideo Kojima, everyone. DS2. Mr. Kojima, thank you so much. Aki, thank you. Well, next, we have another global game announcer. Now, he's an actor who recently performed in Midnight Mass and Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed. Please welcome Rahul Kohli. As an actor, I'm drawn towards stories, but I think that's true of all of us, especially those who pick up a controller. Narrative in games is a slippery thing because there's no single way to tell a story. The beginning, middle, and end may not even happen in that order. And for each of us, there may be different outcomes altogether. But to be truly invested in a game's story is to step away and feel as if you've lived another life. These are the nominees for Best Narrative. And the Game Award for Best Narrative goes to... God of War Ragnarok. I want to thank, oh God, our uh, SMS, IT, and facilities, the, the thing, the heavy lifting they had to do. Congratulations, God of War Ragnarok. Everyone, please join me in welcoming to the Game Awards, Ken and Roberta Williams. When we first started making games many, many years ago, we knew the potential was there to achieve almost anything, even to change the world. We're honored to be back here to present the award for Games for Impact, which recognizes games that change the way people think and feel about the world. Here are the nominees. And the Game Award for Games for Impact goes to As Dusk Falls. You know, an experience that was unique, um, narrative that was intense, grounded, and also communal, flawed characters, uh, normal people that struggle with their real life issues and are thrown in super intense pressure cooker situations. Merci beaucoup. Congratulations to Interior Night. Amazing. I'm here with Joe Mad, legendary comic artist and CEO of Airship Syndicate. Joe, tonight you have a new title to announce, right? 
We do. Uh, a few months ago, uh, we announced that we were partnered with Digital Extreme, which has made Warframe uh, just a huge success over the last 10 years. Yeah. And now we're going to leverage uh, their expertise on our new game, uh, which is a character-based online action RPG set in a brand new fantasy world. And we're super excited. And uh, I think there's a little bit more. You got another partner to talk about, too. We right? do. Another partner uh, has come on board uh, to support us and help us reach even more players around the world. And uh, you'll be able to play it a lot sooner than you might think. So. OK. Well, let's yeah. take a look at the Thank official you. announcement, the world premiere. Here we go. Thanks. Joining me now are Genova Chen from That Game Company, creators of Journey and Sky, and singer-songwriter Aurora. Welcome to the Game Awards. And Aurora, right after the show tonight, you are going to be performing a virtual and free concert in Sky, is that right? Mm-hmm, yes, and I'm so excited. I'm sorry about my voice, it's so fucked up. I sang karaoke last night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. It'll yes. be perfect in the virtual yes. concert, though, right? But, but tonight it will be very good, of yes, course. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> so tell us, this is an amazing collaboration uh, working with uh, Genova and the team. Why did you want to do this? Um, I'm so excited about it, mostly because all of the people that are working on Sky, Children of Light and Genova, is just the best kind of people. And it feels like this, this project is so full of love and, and light and understandment um, of the outsiders in the world yes. and finding a way to make us feel at home and connected. It's very, it's just pure. So. Yeah, I, I got to experience it last week, and it really is very moving. I think it's kind of the future where virtual concerts should go. Genova, you've always built games about connecting people, you know, relationships. What, I wouldn't peg you as someone that would go into the virtual concert space, but this is very special. Tell us, why did you want to do this? Yeah, I mean, historically, we always want to push the boundary of how a game can make you feel. And with our game journey, we connect two people. But with Sky and now the upcoming concert, we want to try to see connect thousands of people together emotionally. And this is just something that I've never experienced. And to be honest, like I just played it with 4,000 people yeah. this week, and I don't know what to say. But so maybe we can just look at a trailer, and hopefully that will help to explain. Amazing. Let's check yeah. it out. Thanks, guys. And now, please welcome the cast of The Last of Us Show coming to HBO on January 15th. I, just... Just real quick, I, I know that I told you guys this backstage, but just in front of everybody else, I want to let you know, we've seen the show, and we, we just love you as Joel and Ellie. Thank you. Thank you. Big fans. Big fans. So you know we are big fans of you two as well as Joel and Ellie. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um... So, should we do this all together, just like Joel and Ellie's, just one and all? Let's do it. Time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're here, We're here to, to present, present the award, award for Best Action, action game. game. Nailed it. Many games have action, and these are the ones that truly <laughs> kick ass. This kicks ass. <laughs> <laughs> here are the nominees. <laughs> Viva Gina. And, and the game, game award, award for best, best action game goes to Bayonetta Bay Bay 3. And as you saw, they're already hard at work on their next project. So they asked me to say a few words on their behalf. And of course, the fans of the series. With the characters just as important as the many players, uh, as the many to the many players as gameplay, we hope you'll keep your eyes peeled for Cereza's next stories. From everyone at Platinum Games, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations to PG and Nintendo. And next, we have a trio of exciting new game announcements. First, let's head to Japan for a special announcement. Tosho, 
テクノロジーの乱用により滅亡の危機に瀕している惑星を舞台にプレイヤーが英雄的な旅をするプロジェクトを思い描いていました時空を超え記憶を解き放ち巨大な敵を倒し全人類を脅かす滅亡の未来を変える旅こんにちはバンダイナムコオンラインブループロトコルのエグゼクティブプロデューサー下岡総吉ですザ・ゲームアワーズに参加させていただきアマゾンゲームズと一緒に取り組んできたゲームをご紹介できることを大変嬉しく思いますプレイヤー自身が SF ファンタジーな冒険を描く主人公となりオンラインでプレイヤー同士が協力して楽しめるアクション RPG をぜひ体験してくださいこの広大で美しい世界を来年 PC プレイステーション 5Xbox シリーズ X そして S でグローバルに提供できることをとても楽しみにしていますブループロトコルのファーストルックをお楽しみください The voice of Toad in the upcoming Super Mario Brothers movie Please welcome Keegan-Michael Key What's happening, Game Awards? <laughs> It is so great that we can all be here and having such a good time and celebrating tonight, right? Yes. Okay, now, all right, there is something that I would like to address. And、uh, if you guessed that it is, well, something about、um, Toad's head, you would be right.、Uh, Because I, I see a lot of people online saying that it's a hat. And, and you know what? It's not a hat, it's a cap. <laughs> you see, because see, the, the cap is that top part of the mushroom that houses the spores and everything. And also, a cap is another word for hat. I, <laughs> I see how that, okay, I just right now saw how that could be confusing.、Um, Wow.、Uh, well, well, okay. Whether you call it a cap or a hat or a capat, I- I'm good with all of it because it's just part of Toad's awesomeness. So now please enjoy this clip of a few of our capped and hatted friends in a sneak preview of their super awesome journey. Everyone's here. Look, even Animal is here, guys. Can't take him anywhere. I should have booked Kermit. All right, well, that looks absolutely so amazing. Game that looks like. <laughs> let's play! Let's play! Let's play! <laughs> yes, I like the energy. As you can see, I'm now joined by Animal from the upcoming Muppets Mayhem.、Uh, say hi, Animal. Uh, uh, hi, Animal. <laughs> playtime! 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 We are at the Game Awards. I love this enthusiasm, Animal. So I have to ask, what do you want to play? Do you have a certain game or? Uh, t a n i s t Elden Ring? Is that what、yeah, you're going to say? Yeah, okay, yeah, I, yeah. I didn't imagine you being a Soulsborne player. Oh,、okay. uh, yeah. Do, do you have a favorite boss in Elden Ring? Oh,、uh, Malenia. <laughs> yeah, Malenia. And I'm a love, Malenia. You're, you're, you're still thinking about it. She's, she's pretty tough in the game.、Uh, well, now that I know you're such a big game fan, have you ever thought about kind of appearing in your own game or having an animal game? Oh, yeah, yeah. Kojima! Kojima!、Uh, <laughs> Where Kojima? I, I don't know if Mr. Kojima's going to be into that or not, but、uh, you never know. Uh, uh, I, animal can hide in box. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess you could. We'll, we'll talk to Hideo at the after party, see what we can make happen.、Uh, but all right, what if that didn't work out and so you had to make your own game? What would you call it? Uh, uh, Animal Crossing! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I think that one's taken. The Nintendo lawyers might have some issues with that. But, a- anyways, Animal, it's, it's great to have you here at the Game Awards. Should we maybe give out an award now? What do you think about that? Oh,、uh, yeah! Music! Music! Oh, music! Uh, okay, Animal has spoken. Let's check out the nominees for best score and music. Roll it! <laughs> Who wins? Open! 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 Oh, okay, Animal, okay. And the Game Award for Best Score and Music goes to God of War Ragnarok. God of War! Congratulations! Congratulations! Wow, Animal! Whoa, buddy! My favorite drummer! I don't believe it! 
I literally don't believe it. Uh, no, thank you so much, everybody. Welcome back to the Game Awards. Coming to the stage now. Uh <laughs> Careful with the fur, I'm a little sensitive, thank you. What's up, Game Awards? Crash is in the building, let's go! Get ready for an epic reveal in three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two. Guys, where's my crew? Hold on a sec. What happened? We were supposed to meet up here and steal all the Wumper Fruit from the Game Awards, which I'm now realizing was a fruitless plan. Oh, excuse me, are you guys on mute? <laughs> oh, I get it. The old silent treatment. That's fine. More Ooh. Wumpa for me, wherever it is. Whatever. Roll the trailer, Grandma! Now, please welcome two outstanding content creators and streamers. Here are Foosley and Valkyrie. While gaming continues to rapidly evolve every year, if there's one category that seems to advance the fastest and furthest, it's innovation and accessibility. Each year, designers impress and inspire us by discovering new and thoughtful ways to enable an even larger audience to play their games through determined consideration for those who are often marginalized. Here are the Game Awards nominees for Innovation in Accessibility. Innovation in Accessibility. It's a single player and multiplayer experience. We wanted to draw in people who weren't necessarily gamers. I might be able to get up there if you help me. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance. That suite of features enables gameplay by players who are blind in their low vision. And the Game Award for Innovation and Accessibility goes to... <laughs> God, God of War Ragnarok! Thank you, everyone. We are absolutely humbled and grateful to everyone who's helped us in this journey along the way, because playing games is what's important for the players. It's you all, you who play the games that are really the ones that deserve this award. Everyone who was on the team at SMS, we are truly honored to be with you. Thank you so much, Eric and Yumi, for supporting us, John and Jason for being there while we were trying to make these accessibility features happen. Katie, Sam, and Zach, my closest cohorts when we were trying to make these features, and all of our team in the QA and accessibility uh, research teams, the UI UX team, and everyone who made it possible. Uh, I can't thank you enough, and I think that the, the players themselves are the ones that are gonna benefit the most. This is a race that no matter who wins, the player is the real winner. So let's go out there and make all games have no limits. Thank you. Now, from 505 Games, a new organized crime game, Crime Boss Rock A City. Please welcome Kirby Joe Grubb, Damien Boitier, and the boss himself, Michael Mr. Michael Madsen. Hello, Game Awards. We are here to slight us. We are here to set a slightly different tone for the trailer you're about to watch. You see this trailer here, well. It's a little different than the rest of these trailers you're seeing tonight. This one's a little bit dangerous. So the boss wanted to come out here. You know, make sure you don't hurt yourself sometime during the next 60 seconds. Wow. What a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> My God, what a night. Wow. Um, listen, I, uh, I've had some wild times uh, 
I've been involved in some crazy things in my life. Uh, I even made a picture with Mr. Al Pacino. Uh, Donnie Brasco. If you haven't seen it, you should look it up, goddammit. So. Anyway, I have to say, being the crime boss of Rock K City, now that's a lot of fun. And uh, we've got an amazing cast with us, these two handsome guys with me. <laughs> and uh, anyway, enjoy the debut trailer for Crime Boss Rock K City coming March 28th, 2023. So let's roll it. He drops by every December, just like Santa. Give it up for Reggie. Hey. So this year, I'm here to present the best game direction category. And it's a particularly exciting award, especially in our industry. Games are constantly pushing the boundaries of creativity, innovation, and artistry. And to be nominated, you need to have created an experience that is incredibly special to the players. To the teams represented behind these titles, you have my utmost respect. Here are the nominees for the best game direction. And the game award for best game direction goes to Elden Ring. It's a great pleasure receiving this such a wonderful award. Elden Ring, the most highest level of title was the most recent title. So, Mr. Tanimura and Mr. Ishizaki, as the CEO director of Mr. Tanimura and Mr. Ishizaki. Thank you very much. Thank you. So once again, thank you so much for your support. Now, we welcome one of the busiest men in gaming, known fondly by his fans as Yoshi P, both the producer and director of the successful online role-playing game Final Fantasy XIV, winner of two game awards tonight, and producer of the highly anticipated new entry in the acclaimed Final Fantasy franchise, Final Fantasy XVI. Please join me in welcoming for the first time to TGA, Mr. Naoki Yoshida. Thank you, Jeff. On behalf of the Final Fantasy 16 team, I'm honored to be here to present you with tonight's final world premiere. To all our fans, thank you for keeping faith in us. I hope you enjoy our latest trailer, Revenge. in the opening act, and uh, lots more awards to come. And of course, last year's Game of the Year winner, Joseph Ferris is back. Good to see you, Joe. Please welcome the director of Hazelight Studios and last year's Game of the Year winner for It Takes Two. Here's Joseph Ferris. Yeah, really nice being on stage again, actually. It feels really good. I know, I know a lot of people are nervous, but don't be. I'm going to be super cool and short. So, uh, let's see now. Yeah, I, rem I remember recently uh, 
last year winning Game of the Year. It's a fantastic feeling. So obviously as a nominee, you should be very happy and very proud. But trust me, you do want to win because it's a great feeling. <laughs> but however, you do actually win something at the Game Awards. It's super cool because, you know, this beautiful orchestra, when they play the music from your game, I mean, I was sitting over there, and trust me, the hair, all, hair on my body was all over the place. Uh, uh, no, uh, goose pump, I mean. It's really awesome. So uh, please uh, give a big applause to the beautiful orchestra and conducted by Lorne Bath. Goosebump, I told you. <laughs> All right. Game of the year winner is Elder Ring. <laughs> I would like to share this great appreciation with our entire Airlending team members. あの、ディレクターとしてはすごくホッとしています。そしてですね、このゲームオブザイヤーというま、最高の絵をいただいた場でいうことではないのかもしれませんけれども、これ、点です。one who enjoyed and who supported these titles. Um, and we create the games we want to create and do our best because of you. Um, thank you so much. Hey, Martin. You know, real quick, I want to thank everybody and say that I think I want to nominate this award to uh, my Reformed Orthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>